Hey, hello guys, good evening. How are you guys? How's everything going? Hi David, how are you? All good, Danny Daniel. How about you, man? Very well. No, but I'm Christopher. Oh, okay, Christopher, I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw Daniel moving his mouth, but I couldn't <laughs> see you, man, so I didn't, I didn't think it was you, man. All right, but I'm glad to have you here. How was your day? Yeah, today was pretty quiet comparing to to the past days. It was quiet. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Elmer, what about yours? How was your day, Elmer? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, sir. I'm good. I'm all good. So, how was your Thanks. day today? Fine, fine, teacher. Uh, little bit, but it's it's good. All right, it sounds good. It sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Welcome, Arturo. How was your day, Arturo? Oh, everything is okay. Everything was okay, teacher. Thank you for asking. Everything was okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, uh, Mister. Well, actually, David Hiron, how about yours? How was your day? Hi, I'm super good. Thank you for asking. Where, what about you? It's been good, man. It's been going good. Hey, have you been, guys, have you been watching the, like, the videos online? The YouTube list? I mean, the YouTube videos? Have you been, watch, have you been watching that? Mm, about the class? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Have you? Have you? Have you not? No. Have you not? All right. All right. Remember, like, if you need any help, because I said, like, if, if you don't finish something right, uh, just watch the YouTube videos, right? That's going to help you a lot. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, welcome, Rocio. Welcome, Gracia. Alejandra, nice to see you. Carlos Laines. Welcome, guys. How was your day today, Gracia? Um, was pretty busy because uh, I had to work in... Um, in some information that uh, we have to prepare for a suit. So uh, I was uh, like look, looking uh, for some archives in, at the office. Uh, so I had to, to move to the office today and work uh, a little bit hard and, and looking for that. Okay, all right. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, hey, that's awesome. That's awesome, I didn't know that you did, you know, something that cool. That's pretty nice. All right, what about you, Alejandra? How are you? How was your day? Hello, uh, my day was okay, actually. It's been a little bit rainy, but it's, it's okay. All right, you don't like rainy days? I do, it's just that it's, it's been raining and since I've been uh, working using my internet. It's not stable oh. and difficult when it's raining. Yeah, I got you, got you. Yeah, same here. It happens, all right? All right. Well, thank you guys for being here early. All right. Uh, welcome to the people who just uh, who just came in, guys. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna start where we uh, left off yesterday. Okay. All right, guys. So do you remember all the vocabulary that you saw yesterday? So we were about to describe a city. Where we were about to? We were about to? Describe, describe a city. You're going to describe a city, okay? So you're going to tell me, guys. You're going to practice, okay? You're going to keep on practicing uh, about your favorite city. You're going to tell me about their architecture and so on and so forth, okay? So, for example, my uh, yesterday I gave you this example, but we didn't finish. My favorite city would be Goiania, which is a city located uh, located south of Brasilia, all right? Now, remember, I want you to use the, the, vocabulary, that, the vocabulary that we learned yesterday. So the vocabulary that we learned yesterday was architecture. Repeat, guys, architecture. 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 All right. Architecture. Cuisine. Repeat cuisine. 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 Right. cuisine. cuisine, guys. Okay. Cuisine. 
All right, this is la cocina, I guess, but not the kitchen, right? It's not the same as the kitchen. Cuisine is a different thing. All right, costumes, costumbres, repeat costumes. Costumes. All right, costumes. festivals. 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 Oh my God, who's, who has, who's got the Mortal Kombat voice? <laughs> yeah, but that hot. All right, uh, historical sites. Historical, historical sites. All right. Okay, now this historical <laughs> site, guys, is like, La, La Reina de San Andres, okay? Historical site um, is like something, something historical, all right? Everybody, nightlife. Night, night lights. Okay? This is like if you live in, um, if you live near, near La Zona Rosa, right? A lot of like nightlife, nightlife is incredible there, right? You got a lot of clubs, to, like, you know, to go dancing. All right, repeat, guys, scenery. Scenery. Scenery, scenery. right? Now, scenery, guys, is how can I? Scenery is basically la vista, Landscape. okay? La vista, right? La vista, lo, lo yes. hermoso de la vista, okay? All right, scenery. Repeat, shopping. 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 All right. Now, <laughs> my favorite city would be Goiana, which is a city located south of Brasilia because it has a nice architecture, uh, um, delicious cuisine. Uh, nice costumes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, you're gonna tell me why. Okay, so just talk, guys. Okay, let's practice, guys, and then I'm gonna come and evaluate you here. Okay, let's go. Oh, we only got 12 today. That's weird. All right, let me hear you guys. Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. ¿Qué aquí vamos a hacer? <laughs> you're going to talk about your favorite city, okay? Describe uh, the city. Yeah, you're, describe, describe your perfect city, All right? Let me send a screenshot, guys, okay? Okay. You have something, Elmer, or I can... You can start, man, All right? Start. Start, start. Okay, well, my favorite city is... I have Amsterdam, uh, which is located in Netherlands. It's a city with a lot of water, like surrounded by water. And it's very beautiful because it has a lot of many little bridges. So it's a city uh, so, so beautiful. Also, it's a city with historical places, historical sites like the Anna Frank Museum, or the Anna Frank House, or the Van Gogh Museum. And also it's a city with a lot of stores, so you can go shopping uh, with, uh, let me see. The nightlife in Amsterdam is very active, man. You can go to modern architecture and the sure. And uh, I had the opportunity to, to take a tour of, of these places. And I also visited the, the Maracanã Stadium and the streets uh, where the Rio Carnival is celebrated. And in fact, uh, I also knew the, the street um, where the movie Fast and Furious uh, was filmed. <laughs> Yeah. And, and taking a, a city tour is really cheap. Uh, the food is included in the, in, the, in the tour. I like the, uh, the Brazilian food too. Okay. okay, I will be honest with you because I don't have a favorite city, but I would like to visit uh, London, England. Okay, so I Consider the, uh, the um, how do you say vino tinto, red wine, mm. red, red wine, red wine, red wine. Yes. I, yes. Uh, Ibiza, Ibiza mm. is is similar to um, Las Vegas, Nevada. You see everything really? there. Yes, it's brilliant, and there are. Have you ever been of, to Ibiza? Yes, I was there when I traveled to Spain. I went nice. to Ibiza, Valencia, Barcelona, and I'm telling her that 
the buildings are beautiful and you can see historical sites um, and you, there's also a big statue of Cristobal Columbus in mm -hmm. Barcelona and it's basically pointing in America. <laughs> so you mm -hmm. can guess what America is because he's already saying <laughs> America. Mm -hmm. so, in what year did you visit? 2018. Mm -hmm. yes. How long? I was uh, there for six months. Really? Uh, wow. Yeah, working on a cruise. It's beautiful. You Great experience. Have, you had a lot of time to, to know very well the city. Yeah, they give you a day. Even the answers? I thought they were just students or something. Yeah, but sometimes it's not working there. Mm -hmm. What's not working? True. The, the platform. platform. It's just that we were talking about the uh, that is very sensitive, and I was just asking if she was able to complete the exercises because on my end I was having a little bit of difficulties trying to do it. All right, hey, that's all. Hey, you, your English is pretty good, Alejandra. I had never heard you talking like that before. Awesome. Now, what exercise are you talking about? The exercises that we already finished. Uh, yes, I believe so. Um, the three points, the ones about the city. Okay, we haven't done those yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about oh, that. Yeah. We, we haven't done them, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. right now, practice, okay? Practice. Uh, help okay. Fatima, because you're really good, Alejandra. You're really good. All Thank right. you. And you're too, Fatima, but Alejandra is like... She, she, you got an accent. Have you ever been in the U.S., Alejandra? Yes. Um, yes, I have. Not living, but yes, I've been traveling and stuff. Okay, right, yeah. yeah. All right, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's practice, guys. Girls. Okay. All right. I can appreciate a lot of buildings, very high buildings. And I, I, uh -huh. I, Hello, teacher. Hey, the teacher is here. Hello, I'm here, right? Checking you out, guys. Yes. Checking you out. Okay, good. Okay. So, uh, I, I was there in the, in the, the famous uh, cuisine is the uh -huh. lobster. Lobster, langosta. Es, no sé cómo lobster, se yes. Lobster, yes. They have a big langostas, a big lobster. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to... I have to, how do you say, to prepare, but when we bought that, uh, they were alive. Mm -hmm. So, what about you, Chris? thank you for sharing. Well, okay. um, I, uh, did, 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 any, country? Did, did any of you had a, um, did any of you have a, a, an interesting story? Yeah, Karina was uh, telling us oh, about Belgium. Yeah, I can visit Bruges in Belgium. Uh, uh, Belgium. What what happened in what happened in in, in uh, Belgium? Oh, it's a really beautiful uh, city, uh, Bruges or Brujas. Okay. Wow. And uh, mm -hmm. the architecture is beautiful. The arch the, all right, the architecture. The architecture, sorry, <laughs> is really beautiful and. The cuisines uh, locals are chocolate, waffles, and beer. Chocolate, no. <laughs> chocolate, waffles, chocolate, waffles, and then waffles, uh huh? Waffles and beer. And beer. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Hey, well, yeah, I mean, it's Germany. Of course, it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful, right? So. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go back, guys. It's time to go back. David, you're mute. You're mute. You're mute, David. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys. So I need everybody to send me the information about your favorite place uh, um, in the chat room. Okay. So everybody type in whatever uh, your place, your favorite place is, and tell me why. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to pick three of you guys so we can do this quickly. Okay. 
All right, so let's see somebody who has not participated yet. Mm, let's go with, hey, uh, Karina, what's, what's, your, what's your favorite color? Uh, red. Red, let's see. Let's see, Alejandra Aguilar. Your eyes are red, Alejandra. All right, let's go. Oh, I need to talk about my city, right? Yeah, you need to talk about your your favorite dream city. All right. My favorite city is. One second, I am so sorry. Oh. All right. So. Three, two, one, go. My favorite city is England. England, it it is very nice because they have a nice weather in there. It is rainy. And also they have friendly people. I love the culture, architecture, and I love the a way they have of living in there. It's really peaceful. And I like rain. Beautiful days. job. 30 seconds are up. 30 seconds are up. Beautiful job for Alejandra, guys. Good job. Hey Alejandra. Awesome. I just confirmed. Beautiful job, Alejandra. No, not even one mistake. Okay. Nice pronunciation, nice fluency. Beautiful, okay? Beautiful job. Mm -hmm. Alejandra, pick someone. Who's your who's your favorite? Who's the most handsome actor that 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 you've seen? Mm. Robert Downey Jr. Okay, pick someone who looks like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> David Hiron. Just like David, David Hiron, right? Good yeah. job, David. <laughs> All right, Ali, Ali, so you got a 10 out of 10, okay? No mistakes, Ali. Good job, Ali. Plus for Ali, guys. Woohoo! Ali, good job, good job, good job, right? <laughs> no mistake. Use the vocabulary, okay? 30 seconds, David Hiron. On three, two, one point. Uh, Go. My favorite city is London. In, uh, in, <laughs> sorry, it's London. Because I consider this a great city. Uh, there are a lot of architecture and festivals too, so I would like to visit uh, this this city. London is a great uh, for me. It's a great uh, city. So yeah. what else? <laughs> all right, sounds time's up, guys. Applause. Good job, applause for David, guys. All right, David. All right, that pronunciation. Good job, man. All right, it it is it, it isn't a big deal. All right, but repeat. Favorite. Repeat. Favorite. Favorite. It sounds like this, guys. Everybody, favorite. Uh, favorite. Okay. Favorite. Favorite. Good job, all right? Guys, all right, don't say wool, guys, because wool like this, wool, I would like, okay, wool, guys, is lana, okay? Eso es la lana de las ovejas, right? Repeat, guys. I'd like. I I okay, like. or I, I like. Like. would like. Repeat, David. I would like. I would like. Is the same? I like. would like. Or yeah, I like and I would. This, this, and, and I like. Yes, I know, but the pronunciation. I would. I would I like. Would. I would. Yes. Oh, it's okay. the same pronunciation as would, man. Like madera. Got it. Uh huh. Right, okay. Same pronunciation, guys. Right. Hey, very good, guys. So, uh, good job, David. All right, very, very good. So you got three mistakes. So that's three out of ten, man. Out of seven out of ten. Okay. Applause for David, guys. Good job, David. David, who's your, who's the most beautiful actress? I'm sorry if your, if, if your girlfriend is there. Okay. The <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Uh, okay, right. Scarlett Johansson. Pick someone who looks like Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is it... Gracia? Gracia, let's go, Gracia. Okay, <laughs> my favorite uh, country would be Rome, Rome, which is located in Europe because uh, there is um, a good architecture and a good cuisine, and also a historical place. Uh huh. Um, I like it uh, because um, of its nightlife. Um, well, <laughs> that's all. I, I would like 
um, in a full third time. Okay, good job. Time sab, all right? Applause, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job, all right? Now, guys, there is something that you need to work on there, okay? You said, you, all right, first of all, this is not a grammar mistake, just letting you know. It's Rome is, it's, uh, Rome is a city, okay? It's, it's not a country, all right? The country is Italy. Rome would be my favorite, repeat, my favorite city. My favorite is city. Rome, okay, Rome, all right? Because yeah, yeah. Rome, you said favorite country, but it's okay. All right, now you say, and also historical place, right? Now, this didn't make sense. And also, I like it, repeat, and also, I like it because. And repeat, also, I like it because. I like it because of its, repeat, of its historical. Of its historical. Sites. Historical sites. Okay. All right, and then you say cause it night cause it nightlife, right? Cause, cause of its okay, you can say cause or because whatever, right? Because of its nightlife. Repeat because of its night of its nightlife. Because of its nightlife. Of its nightlife, okay, right. All right, just fluency there, but overall very good job. Hey, awesome job. Applause, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job, right? So that was six out of ten. That was four mistakes. Good job. All right. All right, let's continue, guys. So let's move forward, guys, to the next example. Thank you guys for sending me the chat. Uh, I mean, the, the examples, Christopher and Barbara. Everybody else, I don't know what happened, okay? But thank you for the ones who did, guys, okay? So we're good. So we're going to do the listening exercise number one, guys. You know what to do. So let's work in couples real quick. I'll give you five minutes, and then we're going to come back, okay? Got it? Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, so we're good, guys. All right, so 3.5, okay? Exercise 3.5. Hey, Leila, nice to see you again. Welcome. Hi, thank you. All right, let's go. Hi, how are you, Leila and Elmer? Good evening, gracias. Hi, teacher, again. Hello, right? I, you were supposed to be with different people now. I don't know what you're doing together. Now, nah, just kidding, right? Let's go, guys. Let me. All right, let's just start, okay? Do you all have access to the platform? Yes. All right. Yes, sounds I good. have. Sounds good. I guess we have to listen the exercise 3.5. Yes, 3.5, sir. Yes. Okay, I we try. have to we have to listen the the audio. The file, we have the to audio. listen to the okay. audio. Yes. To the audio. Okay. To the audio. Huh? Okay, I'm going to. Yes, I don't have a volume. Let me. Yes. I'm sorry, guys. Well, I'm studying architecture and I'm somewhat. Let me see. Listen to Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco. Who seems to like the city better? Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here on such short notice. No problem. 
Well, listen, as I said to you on the phone, I'm doing a story for a magazine. I'm interviewing foreign students to get their impressions of different cities in America. Uh, well, this should only take about 10 minutes or so. Let's see. Uh, do you mind if I tape record our interview? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then. Carlos, why don't we start with you? What do you think of San Francisco? How do you like it here so far? It's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. No, no, I like it. Yes, and actually, I like the mission a lot. It's a Latino neighborhood. We don't have anything like that where I come from. Uh, well, that's about it. Any final comments? No, not really. I'd just like to say that this is a great place to live. I'm glad that I got a chance to study here. Okay, so you have the first um, answer, or? Uh, yes. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Vicky, it's your turn. What do you like to do? I'm a bit of a night person. There's always a new club or a film or a great outdoor cafe to check out with my friends. And we also... It was cloudy, cloudy and other word that I don't remember. Architecture. Oh. Great architecture. Uh, cloudy, but I don't know if we have to put only one or... I don't know. Let me see. I will try with, with great architecture or only architecture. Yeah, because I had three, cloudy, foggy, and from four, cloudy, foggy, romantic, romantic. and great architecture, but yes. nothing you have, to, I, you, have to, you have to use all of them, right? It says, type in the city features that Carla and Vicky mentioned, like all of them. Okay. All of the features, okay? okay. With a comma, right? Yeah, with a comma. Separated by a comma and... A space. Space, okay, okay. Let's try. Hey guys, did you finish here? Did you finish, guys? It, no, we're listening again. Oh, okay, right, notice. sounds good. Hey, remember to separate everything by commas again. Okay? There is a period at the end, okay? okay? All right. Okay. Is that a camera in your background, Leila? Sorry? Oh, no, that's a virtual background, right? Yeah, a virtual background. <laughs> the camera looks cool. All right, <laughs> keep it up. Hmm. Yeah. Have any issues, guys? Yes. The, this is With the a, second part. Hi. Uh, we... We tried to to identify the, the the feature that Carlos and Vicky mentioned, but <laughs> we, we, we think the architecture is right. wrong. Take notes, guys. Take notes. That's all you have to do. Take notes. Do you have your notebooks? Are you taking notes? Yes. Yeah. All right. Hey. You need to be taking notes, right? Listen to Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco. Who seems to like the city better? Hi, guys. Hi. Hiya. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here on such short notice. No problem. Well, listen, as I said to you on the phone, I'm doing a story for a magazine. I'm interviewing foreign students to get their impressions of different cities in America. Uh, well, this should only take about 10 minutes or so. Let's see. Uh, do you mind if I tape record our interview? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then. Carlos, why don't we start with you? What do you think of San Francisco? How do you like it here so far? It's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. No, no, I like it. It's just that I've been so busy studying. I haven't had much time to explore the city. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and when I have the time, well, it's so cloudy and foggy here, especially in the summer. I never thought I'd be wearing a sweater in July. Well, this is Northern California. Hey, Maybe you should move south. I hear Los Angeles is warmer. Vicky? Oh, I love it here. I think this is a beautiful city. The rolling hills, the views of the bay. 
It's very romantic. Yeah. So, how do you guys spend your free time? Well, I'm studying architecture and I'm somewhat of a photographer. Really? Oh, I'm just an amateur. Anyway, I, I'm always taking pictures of the buildings in the city. You know, the Victorians, the modern skyscrapers downtown. There's such a variety of buildings in the city. The architecture is really great. I've also taken pictures of other landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks totally different when the weather changes. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Vicky, it's your turn. What do you like to do? I'm a bit of a night person. There's always a new club or a film or a great outdoor cafe to check out with my friends. And we also like to explore the different neighborhoods. It's pretty easy thanks to BART. That's Bay Area Rapid Transit. Yeah, that's a great subway system. Anyway, yesterday we went to the Italian neighborhood, North Beach, to buy some pastries and have a cup of espresso. Today, I'm going down to the Mission District to get a burrito for lunch. Hey, sounds like you like to eat Mexican food. Yes. And actually, I like the Mission a lot. It's a Latino neighborhood. We don't have anything like that where I come from. Uh, well, that's about it. Any final comments? No, not really. I'd just like to say that this is a great place to live. I'm glad that I got a chance to study here. All right, so she mentioned more features than these guys, all right? But those are the features, not only being the, like the city is cloudy and foggy, right? No, all right, it's more than that, okay? So try to figure it out, guys. We're gonna go back now, so I'm gonna help you uh, resolve that, okay? Solve that, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right, guys. So, who finished, guys? Who had, who has them all? Who finished, guys? I, I only have one right, uh, the first one, but the second one, I wrote like seven different things, and it says wrong for some weird reason, because I wrote club here, so cloudy and fuck. Yeah, it's me too. Yeah. All right. Sounds good, guys. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, who completed the second one, guys? Me teacher, who completed the second one? All right, let me ask you real quick. David, what are some of the features? Oh, my God, what happened? So what are some of the features that you heard, David? Hit on. I heard about the, uh, for example, the beautiful city in architect architecture. Good job. Okay, so we got architecture, right? Architecture. Architecture, right? What else? What else, Enrique Ramos? What else? We I heard that it's cloudy, it's very foggy. Okay, guys. If if some weather is cloudy, all right. The climate, weather. climate, 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 okay. climate, or the weather, right? The weather. It's a weather. Something. Weather. All right. I uh, said cloudy of clouds. I know. I know. Weather. No, guys, guys, guys. Oh, shh. Time out. Got it. Go. Okay. <laughs> All right, I know that you say cloudy, man. All right, I'm just saying cloudy is part of the climate, okay? All right, if you say rainy, cloudy, sunny, that's all the climate, okay? The weather, right? Very good. Gracia, Gracia Rivera. Let's go. Give me another one. Yeah, the, the rolling hills and the views. Okay. How do you call the, 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 the views, guys? The views? The views. Come on, the views is like you get on Facebook. The ones that you Landscape. get on Facebook. Landmark. Scenery. Landmark. Scenery. Oh, scenery. Good job. Scenery. scenery. Good job. The scenery, right? What else? Uh, let's see. Let's pick someone from. All right. So, uh, Alejandro Aguilar, what else? Um, romantic. But I'm not really sure if that's a picture. Romantics, um, sight scenes, I, I think. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember anymore, but it was romantic uh, scenery, so I think. Okay. And the architecture. Architecture. Uh -huh. Does anybody else have something else, guys? Anybody else? Nightlife. Nightlife. Yes. Nightlife, okay, good job. Nightlife. Cuisine, Mexican. Cuisine, food. okay, cuisine. Guys, this is this is the answer. 
Alright, type it in, okay? I don't know. Let's see. So we got uh, climate, architecture, landmarks. Alright, landmarks, guys, nightlife and cuisine, okay? And who likes the cedar better? That's Vicky, right? There you go, guys, okay? There you go. See, you did it, guys. You did it. So the answer is here. <laughs> like that, okay? That's more. Climate, architecture, landmarks. All right, did you all get it? Yes, no? No, yet. No, yet. Not yet. That okay. is wrong. Why, why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? It's wrong. I don't know. It's correct, sir. All right. All right, guys. So just take a screenshot, guys, okay? All right. But this is the answer. Are we good? Can I move on? Can we move on? Let me know when you're ready, guys. I just heard somebody taking a picture. All right, guys, let's move on now, okay? Good job. All right, so help me read lesson objective for today, Karina Castellanos. Let's go. By the end of this session, participants will learn to use modifiers in the correct order. Repeat, guys. By the end of these sessions, of this session, participants will learn to use modifiers in the correct order. By the end of these sessions, participants will learn to use modifiers in the correct order. All right, very good. I, I repeated it so you can say it, so you can imitate me, okay? All right, by the end of this session, right? Let's imitate my intonation, guys, all right? Okay, guys, so we're gonna see the order of modifiers. Before that, guys, guys, what are adjectives? Who can give me adjectives? Me, teacher. Give me adjectives, guys. Me, teacher. All right. Uh -huh. Tell me, give me adjectives. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Beautiful. Okay, Black. very good. Okay, adjectives. Okay, so beautiful. So you got beauty. Ugly. Beautiful. Okay, you got ugly. All right, what else? Small. All right, you got small. What else? Bad. What? Tall. Tall, okay, tall. Bad. Big. Okay, all right, you got it, guys. Okay, so what do they do, guys? What does an adjective do? It's a part of the sentences that describe something. Okay. It describes a noun or something. A noun, okay. It, it describes a noun, okay. Yeah. Be it an object, etc. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. All right. We have to understand what an adjective is, so we can, so we can uh, start with a, with this topic. Okay. In one second, I'm pulling the video up. I think Antigua Guatemala is a pintoresque. Okay, guys. So now, guys, if I want to say, if I want to say, uh, Scarlett Johansson es la mujer con el pelo, los ojos, la nariz más hermosa, parte de eso, right? If I want to describe, guys, multiple adjectives, there is an hour, there is a, there is a priority of adjectives. There is a, priority. there is a what? Priority. What is a priority, guys? When I that, okay. Most important. Okay, they're very good. Okay, so there is a priority with adjectives. Okay, all right. So help me read, help me read, guys. What an adjective is, uh, Mr. Leila. Help me read. Help me read what an adjective is. Or tell about nouns or pronouns. 
Okay, right. Words that describe or tell about nouns and pronouns. Okay, right. And uh, Barbara, all right. What else? Make, make sentences more interesting. Good job. Rocio, what else? Give details that make your meaning clearer. Repeat, guys. Details. <laughs> details. Details. All right, details. details. Okay, all right. And Fatima, details. last one. Tell what kind or how many. Okay, all right. It it tells you about the kind, the type of something or, or like the quantity of something, right? So far, so good? So far, so good. So far, so good, right? Beautiful job, guys. Okay, now, so now here, guys, I would recommend you to take a screenshot, okay? Just, I right, take a screenshot. All right? All right. So, guys, let's say that we have... I don't know. Hey, um, let's see, Christopher. Yeah. Do you like? Do you like? You know, like uh, some drinks. Do you like what? What is? What's your favorite drink? Uh, I like vodka. Vodka, okay. Yeah. All right. So let's say that we have vodka verde, okay? <laughs> All right. So vodka verde. All right. Hey. So vodka verde, guys, has different qualities. He ha He has different. She has different qualities. Quality. Qualities. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to talk about that one vodka verde, okay? Now, the first thing that you talk about, guys, is the, the what? It's in here. What is the first thing that you talk about? Terminator. All right. All right. Terminator. Yeah, it's very good, okay? Okay, the determiner. Good job, all right? So... Help me read, uh, David Hiron. What is that? What is uh, the determiner? To inform if the adjective is singular or plural. If huh? Defined yeah. or indefined. Very Next good. or far? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Next or far, example. A car, an apple, the book, the flower, this man, that woman, these computers, those teachers. Good job, all right? Good job, good job. Applause for David, guys. Good job, David. Very good, guys. So the first example that we got, guys, is basically articles, guys. I and right. And what is the other article? The okay. Yeah. All right. Now, so the examples are here. Give me an example of uh the terminer. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Thomas Machado, give me give me an example of a uh, terminer. Quickly, go. Everybody send me an example of the determiner in the chat room right now. Let's go. Thomas, give me one. G uh, here, go. Thomas, you're muted, sir. You're muted. Samuel, you're muted. An apple is delicious. All right. An apple, okay. An apple. What else? Uh, Christopher Alexander, give me another one. The house. The house, okay. All right. So we got an apple. The house, all right, etc. Okay, a car, whatever. So far, so good. Very good, very good. Okay, all right. Now, give me an example, guys. Everybody, give me an example of an opinion. Okay, help me read. Meanwhile, uh, Karina Castellanos. All right, next comes the an opinion adjective explains what you think about something other people may not agree with you. Examples. Silly, beautiful, horrible, difficult. Very good. Next one, uh, Enrique Ramos. Size. A size <laughs> adjective, of oh. course, tells you how big or small something is. Examples are large, tiny, enormous, and little. Very good. All right, next one, Carlos Laines. Go. Age. An age. An age adjective tells you how young or old something or someone is. Examples, ancient, new, young, old. Very good job, all right. Leila, next one. Shape, a shape adjective describes the shape of something. Examples, a square, round, flat, rectangular. Good job, all right. Arturo de Leon, next one. A color, a color adjective, of course, describes the color of something. Example, blue, pink, Reddish, gray. 
Good job, okay. Uh, Gracias, Rivera. Next one. Origin. An origin adjective describes where something comes from. Examples, French, lunar, American, Eastern, Greek. Very good job. Uh, the next one. Um, oh my God, I see more people. <laughs> uh, Barbara, next one, next one. A material adjective describes what something is made from. Made from. Examples, wooden, metal, cotton, paper. Good job, uh, Alejandra, let's go. Material, uh, material, per, no, I'm sorry, purpose. purpose. Yeah, purpose. Yes, I'm sorry, purpose. A purpose adjective describes what something is used for. These adjectives often end with ing. Examples, sleeping, um, sleeping as in sleeping bag, roasting as in roasting thing. Very good job. Applause for you guys. Beautiful job, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So now, what do we use this for? What do you think we use this for? Um, Karina, explain to me what the hell is this? What do you think that we use it for? Uh, the different kinds of adjectives that uh, we use oh uh, yeah we it's yeah it is different kind of adjectives got some all right but it's not that exactly what we're seeing here leila do you have any idea we use it to describe people things guys all right very good okay yeah guys it's adjectives but guys has it ever happened to you that you say oh i saw i saw um a white american tiny um tiny beautiful woman have you ever heard something like this yes all right so this is to describe someone or something with multiple multiple what adjectives adjectives, multiple adjectives okay now adjectives. you can't say it you cannot say i saw a beautiful woman american white tiny that would be incorrect okay all right it has to have an order guys okay so you have to have an order when you speak okay so let's take a look at the first example all right so all right so for example guys uh help me read uh gas okay let's talk about vodka vert okay let's say okay. i you can say i think vodka verto Oh, I'm sorry, vodka verto, right? I'm thinking in Russian, guys. Vodka, vodka verto, right? I think vodka verto is is um, a young man uh, from England that uh, loves sleeping. Okay. So hold on, guys. So. I think Vodka Verto is a young man from England. All right, let's use the order, okay? Ah, the okay. order that we have here. The first one is opinion, right? Okay. I think that Vodka Verto is um, workaholic, could be? All right, no, no, no. Just, okay, just go like this, okay? Let me help you, okay? Let me. Vodka Verto okay. is Ely. Vodka ah. Is, ah, all right, let's use a, a determiner, okay? Vodka Verto is a silly small. Ah, silly small. Silly small. All. Uh huh. All. Oh, no. oh. all what? All, all fat. Okay, all fat. Okay, all right, we can say fat here. Good job. Fat. White. Okay, all right. So then we have okay. White, okay, all right. But white. white. Huh? British. Okay, British. Uh-huh. Men. Because we don't have much British. for British. Good job, guys. Okay, British man. Beautiful.
Applause for Thomas, guys. Beautiful job, Thomas, okay? Thank you. All right, good job, Thomas. That's what I'm talking about, man. All right, so guys, you can't say Vodka Berto is a fat, small English man sleeping, right? It has to have an order, guys. So you have to follow this order. So, so far, so good? So far, so good? Yes. Yes. All right, all right, all right. So, I'm sorry, did, did you say something, Christopher? No, so far, so good, I said. All right, so very good. When we, dis when we describe someone or something, we have to follow that, that rule? Yes, yes, all the time, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what I need to know, and now I get it. <laughs> all right, very good job, That's very good job. Awesome. Thank you. All right, now guys, do you have, do you have a question? Hmm. All right. Now, guys, I, it's difficult at the beginning. I, 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 I'm telling you, it's difficult at the beginning, okay? But after, after practicing, it becomes natural, okay? All right, but are we good? Are we good? Did we all understand, guys, what we use this for? Yes. All right, very good job, guys. Very good job, very good job, okay? So if you don't have any further questions, guys, I'm gonna give you with, I'm gonna leave you with examples, guys. Tomorrow, guys, we're gonna practice all right, we're going to practice and we're going to do this exercise. I do not want you to do this exercise yet, okay? Okay. You're not going to do the listening exercise. We have to practice describing people, okay? All right. Um, meanwhile, before we go, okay, let's do a quick QA. All right, so Alejandra, I want you to describe uh, Fatima, pick someone. You know, I want you to describe Fatima. No, 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 no. Alejandra, I want you to describe Fatima. Fatima, let me find her just one moment. You want me? You want? You want me to show Wait, you the? I, no, no, no. I know. I know who she is. No, no. Do you want me to show you the the order of the adjectives over uh, here? Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's see an example, guys. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So talk to me about Fatima. Go. All right, Fatima is um, intelligent, small, young, thin, um, huh? light skin. Uh, not right, light skin. No. Um, let's say, um, <laughs> yeah, light skin. <laughs> uh, Salvadorian. <laughs> Salvadorian, um, girl. Okay. <laughs> she was she wasn't sure about being being a girl or a, or a, or a woman. Okay. Now, guys, guys, can you yeah. say, can you say that someone is small? Is Fatima small, guys? Is Fatima small or is she short? Short. Oh, short. Short. Yeah. Okay. Right. Short. short. <laughs> I didn't. I think, I think she's told her, right? Very, very good. All right, guys. So repeat, Eva. Fatima is an intelligent, short, young, teen, thin, uh, South, uh, white Salvadorian girl. Repeat. Fatima is intelligent, Fatima is intelligent short, short, young, uh, white Salvadorian girl. All right, very good, guys. So practice this, guys, because I'm gonna ask you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. Applause for Alejandro, guys. Beautiful job, Ali. Awesome job. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure being with you today. We'll see each other tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Hey, have a good, good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.